All right, guys, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan Rob Beats. How's everybody doing? Today marks two years, two years of owning the Anatol equipment. So we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna look over it, and we'll tell you guys the features, and some of the things that I don't like about it, it's very, very small. But yes, we're gonna talk about the exposure unit, we're gonna talk about the conveyor dryer, and we're gonna talk about the, uh, the press here. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna talk about these two units here. This is the Anatol Aurora um, exposure unit. I was about to call it the conveyor dryer. And the conveyor dryer is the Anatol Solutions. So let's get right to it. First, let's get some dimensions, all right? So it sits about, right now it's sitting roughly around 40, about 40 and a half inches tall. Okay, it is the actual unit itself from the wall to the front of the panel here is roughly about 41 inches the conveyor itself the arms here that sticks out is 33 about 33 and a half the belt itself is 24 inches so you got two feet now let's talk about the conveyor dryer so let's talk about that so let's talk about the electronics here so you have the power here the voltage basically your main power breaker here once you do that the display screen the touch screen display will turn on all right and um <coughs> and this is your e-stop so if you if, if this is pulled up everything's good let's say something goes wrong you want to hit it this e stop press what it does it it stops the uh the heating element and it stops the conveyor dryer or not the conveyor but the belt okay let's turn it back on now let's go let's dive into the electronics real quick the the screen so it is a touch screen right now i only have one program so if you hit program you can put as many program as you want you have seven and ten up to the 16 programmable um settings okay 16, 16 programmable settings. So right now I only have one. I had another one here, but I took it off on two. Um, right now I have this one set at 340, meaning that if I am drying a plastic saw at 320, it reaches up to 340 right there. Now, usually what I would have is I have one 340 and I have one like at 300 for a lower temp. So right now I, I took it off. <clears throat> Um, but like you can set your temperature, whatever temperature you want. Um, you can set how how uh, fast you want the belt to go through. So it's very programmable. You can do your setup here and all that stuff. You can see your usage, your clocks, and work schedules, and your other tests. So as far as the conveyor dryer itself, that's like the one thing I really really like is that this thing is programmable to basically however many settings you want. Six, I don't think you're gonna use all 16 programs. Maybe you do, I don't know. But right now, I've used maybe two, okay? Um, if you guys wanna look at the electronics. Yeah, the electronics. So this is what I like about it, plain and simple. The electronics, I, I don't think I need to go through the electronics because I don't really know what's in there. The only thing I know that um, I had to change one of the breakers, it blew. Um, I don't know why it blew, but just a little little breaker here. Well, let me show you guys, let's, let's open it. Look at the key right here. Let's go ahead and open this real quick. Okay, so one of the breakers blew here. I think it was this one. It's just a fuse. One of these fuses right here. And I did get some from Anatol. They sent me a couple right there. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that that happened as far as um, something going wrong. It's the breaker blew. Whatever, I had to change it. But as far as electronics, there it is. I have no idea what I'm looking at here, but these are the breakers. That's all I know, okay? And of course, you know, the other thing that, that I had to replace was the LCD screen, the touch screen, because this guy, if you guys watch my videos, I talked about it and I replaced it because I dropped the screen right on it, or um, a screen right on the, right on the screen, um, the aluminum screen, and it broke. You know, it's like dropping your phone. It broke. 
moving on. Other thing I really like about it is that the casing or the conveyor dryer itself is um, insulated. So it's insulated, it doesn't get really, really hot in here like my um, Vastex. I used to have a Vastex, I forgot what it was. It was like a V600, I don't know, I don't remember, but it's not insulated at all. If it gets hot, it gets really, really hot. So um, yeah, the, the whole cabinet here is um, insulated, so I don't have to worry about it. It'll still get a little hot, you know, but it's, it won't be like an oven, okay? Uh, if you guys are wondering, these knobs here, I have two here and two on the other side. That lowers the um, the heating element up and down inside. Okay, but yeah, that's it. It does have a blower here. It does blow um, out heat, but it's not even that hot. It's not, it's not even that hot. Okay, so let me talk to you guys one thing. Well, I shouldn't say what I don't like about it or... I don't know, let me just tell what it is, but... As you can see, I have this fan here. It's, all, it's on a bungee right there, see all the bungees. So right now it's blowing down on it. Um, Anatol does have like a, um, a fan rack that you can attach to this thing. It's like, I think it's a four fan or five fan rack system that just blows air down to your garments as it coming out of the, uh, the tunnel here. Um, I didn't get that. Um, I think that's just an accessory that Anatol has. So if you want to get that, feel free to do it. But I kind of made my own. It works, but that's the only thing. It's like it didn't come with a fan, but not a big deal. <laughs> that's just like, you know, being anal about it. But anyways, but not a big deal. Um, but I, I wish they would attach something like a little fan that blows out. But hey, some people don't want it. So that's why it's an accessory, right? So yeah. All right, but anyways, that is the Anatol Solutions conveyor dryer. In a nutshell, it's a conveyor dryer. It heats up, okay? But I do like it that it's programmable and it's insulated. All right, so now moving on to this guy on top. Let me turn this thing off. So this is the Aurora, Aurora exposure unit. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Now, while this thing is turning on, warming up, it's gonna be a little loud. The lights will turn on, right? So, there it is. I know, cute, you know that? If you guys are hearing that fan, because there are, there are fans underneath this thing blowing out, keeping the, the inside of this cool, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. So, going back to what I was saying with the conveyor dryer, uh, this, this one here, this uh, exposure unit, it is programmable also, you can have eight programs so right now um, you can have different settings for different type of exposure time and all that stuff right now I only have one because I'm, I'm only using one emulsion and one exposure time and it's been working out I'm not changing anything unless like I want to do to like a photo blue or I don't know other emulsions right but right now I'm using the VPR it works fantastic with this so if you guys are wondering what emulsion i'm using i am using the um vpr cci vpr um emulsion and it's perfect on this thing so i like it so i don't know much to say about it it is a vacuum top let me see the vacuum or not the vacuum but the uh the neoprene um material top okay it's pretty simple uh right now i have it set at 3.6 psi at nine seconds that's right nine seconds uh if you guys wonder where the vacuum is the vacuum is actually underneath this thing you guys want to see it all right let's go see it wow so <laughs> what's up guys we're underneath the conveyor um if you guys are wondering this is the the vacuum pump right here oh there it is right there it is a 110 pump um max vacuum at 60 tor i don't know what that means but it's a 110 piston vacuum pump uh it's a very very strong pump i really like it it's fast yeah so right now i have the tube here going from the pump or the vacuum pump all the way up to the top and um i'm getting a little claustrophobic so we're gonna get on out of here okay we're back up top okay so i'm gonna show you guys kind of show you guys how it works um let's say i have this thing down 
So it does go down, it has gas shocks, and it hooks in to the side like that. Boom, ready to go. Now once you hit the play button, or the green button, the vacuum will start. All right, but yeah, that's it. Once you hit it, um, definitely the lights will turn off, the, the safety light will turn off, and then the UV light will turn off. So um, I think from, from when I hit play, it takes about, I don't know, a few seconds. I think it takes about five or six seconds for it to vacuum all the way out and then the uh, exposure time will start so uh yeah it's pretty fast again i'm using the vpr if you guys are using something else it might be a little different as far as the emulsion timing and vacuum and all that stuff but right now i'm just using the vpr one over one coat definitely if you're doing two coats your time will be different but something you got to play around with right i did mention that this thing is insulated that's how i was able to put the uh, exposure unit right on top of it but as you guys can see, I did put pieces of wood under here for it to sit on because I do have fans here that's blowing. So I want to make sure there's enough um, space for it to blow under. Now, when I was putting this together a year ago, I was going to paint this thing red so it matches. Obviously, I didn't get to do it because I just don't have time to do it. <laughs> but it works. It works. Um, yeah, if you have another conveyor dryer, if you want to put your exposure unit on top or something else on top, Make sure you check, make sure it's insulated. Don't just put anything on top of it because it'll get hot. And the only reason I was able to do it because it is insulated and then the, um, the blower is on the side of it, not like directly in the middle. So props to you Anatole. All right, so before we go into the press, we're gonna talk about the flash. All right, so this is the flash dryer. It is a rapid wave. See that? Rapid wave, rapid wave. So this is the rapid wave. Um, usually you'll, it's actually, um, you can use it for both um, of their um, automatic presses and their manual presses. So right now it's set up on the manual press. It does come with a stand. You can see the stand here. And it is an automatic, meaning that it'll turn off and on with the sensor here. Once you print and you turn it, the sensor will hit that, this corner here, you know, like, hey, there's something something passing it, it'll turn on. It, it does have, um, let's look in the back panel here. It does have three zones of heating. So you have one, two, three, just turn those on. Right now I don't have this thing turned on. This is actually the very front, middle, and the back. And you can also do your test here. Okay, next one we have our heat, how hot you want it to be, right? And of course, that's your on button, turning this thing on. And right down here, see that? That's a timer. So that's the timer. Um, it just, whatever setting you want, um, how hot you want it, and how long you want the, uh, the heat to be on. So that's what the timer goes for, okay? Um, you have to kind of play around with it to make sure that it's not burning your, um, your garments. Um, if you're just using it as uh, a print flash print, you know, it doesn't have to be that hot, doesn't have to be that long of a duration. The only thing you gotta make sure is dry to the touch, right? That's all you gotta care about. And then you can print flash print because if you have a conveyor dryer, that's what you're using to cure it. But if you're, you are using the flash dryer to cure, you know, your settings will be a little different. Just be mindful about that. Um, like I said, you can have this thing set up on their automatic presses. All you gotta do is slide this thing out. It's just a bar that goes all the way across here. You slide it out. Bada bing, bada boom. Now let's talk about what I think what you guys are waiting for is the thunder. This is a manual press. It's a six color, six platen or six head press. Um, yeah, let's talk about it real quick. Come on. This is the Anatole Thunder. You guys can see it there. It does come with the side clamps here the side clamps and the lasers and and it comes with aluminum uh platen with a rubber top you guys can see rubber top all right so let's talk about what i like about this press okay you guys can look at the specs and all that stuff um a couple of those two things that well actually what i said to you guys is what i really like i like the laser i thought i would never um, would like the laser on a press, but 
obviously I do, because um, I was like, you know, I could just draw it on the platen, which you can, but with the laser, it's, it's a guide system. So right now, if you guys want to know what I have it set up for is, right now I have it set up for, um, of course, the center, right? And I have it set up for four fingers down. I want the top of the design of the artwork to sit on the laser, okay? And I do have my left chest here, left chest, left print, same thing. And if you guys are wondering, what do I have back here? What do I have back here? So usually this one, if I'm doing hoodies, I mark this where the hoodie would be at, like the pocket, because I know you've done it, I've done it, you guys printed, screen printed right on the pocket, right? Which is something that it's a no-no, or unless the, that's how you guys want it. But 99% of the time, we don't print on the pockets. So that's why I have that as a guide. I know that, hey, um, if, my, if I go past this line here, I'm printing on the pocket. So that's what I use that for. You gotta use it, gotta use it, okay? And the side clamps, definitely, definitely 99% no zero or zero deflection. Uh, meaning that the uh, when you put the screen in, it doesn't flex like this when you're printing. Because um, it has four points, one, two, three points, four points of um, securing the press or uh, of pressure. So when you have the, the, the screen down like this, it doesn't flex on you unless if you have like a back clamp back here you'll get a little bit of pallet deflection i know if you guys seen it i know if you guys gone through it for those of you who has a the back clamp but if you can't afford to get a side clamp get it and i'm telling you you're never gonna go back <laughs> tell you that much okay um it does run swing smoothly swing smoothly okay um yeah, I mean, I, I really like this press. It's easy to use as far as um, registering is very easy. Uh, let me put this thing down so you can show you guys. All you gotta do is take this off, or not take it off, but loosen this, loosen this. You got your X, Y, and Z. And then you can also uh, move the, the screen side to side just by um, releasing these uh, knobs here on both sides. It's fairly easy. Once you got everything set up, all you gotta do is just move it just a little bit, okay? Now, that's what I really like about the press. It's pretty simple, it's a manual press. So, other than it being what it is, there's it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, but it's robust. Like I said, it's really easy to use, and I really like it. So, let me tell you guys what I don't like about it. You guys ready for this? It's really petty, I'm gonna show you guys. It's just that the little feet things. <laughs> I wish it was a one way or another way that we can put wheels on it or a way to um, move it around. You know, I mean, you can drag it here and there, but but um, if I have to move or something, you know, I'd like to make it a little bit easier for me to, to move it around. It's really petty and that's about it really. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Anatol equipment guys. Once again, the Thunder. The Rapid Wave, the um, Aurora, and the Solutions Conveyor Dryer. Once All right, guys. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is two years of owning the Anatol equipment. And I could tell you much that I've really enjoyed printing ever since I got it. Um, it made my life a little bit easier. Let's just put it that way. Um, again, thank you, Paul, with Anatol. Thank you for reaching out, and thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity. So if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, Please put them down in the comment below. Um, and that should be it. Alright guys, keep grinding. I'll see you guys. Peace out.